Good afternoon, students. Um, welcome to LEAS 2010 uh, Catalog and Classification. Uh, we're looking at um, today, uh, this afternoon, we are going to briefly talk about uh, the cataloging process. Uh, we have looked at what is a catalog, the, the functions of a catalog, uh, the, the, the forms of catalogs, the physical forms of catalogs, um, and the, the inner forms of catalogs, um, the criteria for cataloging, uh, for choosing a, 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 a good catalog. Uh, now, what is cataloging? A cataloging is the process involved in uh, creating catalogs, the process that is involved in creating catalogs. Now, this process uh, involves uh, uh, describing um, uh, a library material, be it a book, uh, be it a video, be it a sound recording. You need to describe it uniquely so that it can be distinguished from any other uh, library material uh, for easy uh, identification, uh, retrieval, and location. Um, now, that information that you provide to uh, helps you to create uh, a record for that item. So the whole process is what we call uh, cataloging. And the persons that are uh, specialized to do the cataloging uh, are known as catalogers. And that's what we are. Yeah, and that's what we are. <laughs> yeah. So we create the metadata, which is the data that describes uh, information uh, resources. The data that you can use to search and retrieve the information resources. And this data could be the author, the title, the place of publication, the publisher, the edition, statement, um, etc., etc. Okay, now the cataloging process is um, divided into two major phases. The first phase is what is known as the descriptive cataloging. The second phase is known as subject cataloging. Now, descriptive cataloging is the process of describing a library material adequately or sufficiently so that uh, this material can be uh, recognized, can be identified in a catalog. Now, in describing um, a material, you use such uh, you, you you use such information or provide such information like the author, as I said earlier, uh, the title, uh, the place of publication, the publisher, um, the date or year of publication. Uh, if it has addition statements, you provide addition statement. Plus other additional information. If it's got series title, for example, if it's a book. Um, you provide all that information, uh, which will describe and identify that item, distinguishing it from any other item. So the whole process, that process is descriptive cataloging. And in the next series, we will be looking at descriptive cataloging, because there are principles that we must follow. And the, the formats that it, this a record must be prepared in a particular format, standard format. Tools that must be and there must be tools that we need to use to do this uh, process. The next process, as I said, is subject cataloging. What do we do in subject cataloging? In subject cataloging, we determine the subject content of that item. So that uh, if the item is uh, talking about history, is history is the subject content, or is it geography, is it biology? So by determining the subject uh, content, 
we then describe that subject using standard terms so that a, a, a reader or a library user will be able to search by subject and locate that item under a particular subject. Then we classify it. Then finally, we, we, we complete the whole cataloging process and the item is, has now a record, then we shelve it, uh, the item, uh, in the particular storage facility. So these two processes, we will be talking about them will be, uh, in details in our next series of lectures. Thank you.